everyone. How's everyone doing? Um, so, um, today I'm going to be recording a few different videos. Um, well, to get started, um, I have a little bit of makeup. I don't know if you can really tell, but I have my lip gloss and I have like a very neutral, um, like blush and foundation. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial, my first makeup tutorial. Um, I am not a makeup artist. I am not nothing spectacular. I'm just going to show you guys the way I do things so that you guys can get ideas. And if you like them, then you can leave a comment. And if you don't like it, then you can leave a comment or you can message me and give me some help. So, let's get started. I'm going to do a very neutral, like I have my cheeks, um can't really tell with this camera I don't know maybe you can maybe you can't let me see if I go back I, I did a very neutral fa uh, face and my lips are neutral but they're glitter you know shimmery so we're gonna be using a uh, NYX um, jumbo eyeshadow pencil and cottage cheese as our foundation I already put my urban decay um, Primer, the nice. So let me. So we're gonna be using the. Going back, guys. A little technical difficulties, but um, as you see, I'm just using this. Um, you can tell the difference from this eye it has a little shimmer, as opposed to this one. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna apply a little bit. I don't know, but for this eye, I could do this. But for the other one, I have to like press my eye down. Because I don't know how to do it. I guess I'm a little retarded with my eyes. <laughs> so, um, we just added a little bit to our eyes as a base. Um, now my eyes are going to be watering. Great. My first tutorial. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I'm not going to edit that out because, hey, that might happen to you. Okay. So then I'm going to be working from this palette it's an elf encyclopedia and it's a neutrals edition and I got this for five dollars at Target um, it's a holiday um, promotion I guess they have going on um, so go get yourself one if you don't have it it's only five bucks and this is how it looks inside there goes my brush <laughs> and it comes with a Wow, everything's happening wrong in this video. A brightening, brightening eyeliner, and it comes with a little brush, but we're not going to be using that. Okay, so let's get started. Great. Okay, so I'm going to be using a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It looks like this. It's rounded. I'll take that. Okay, and I'm going to be using this color here. It's the second, I guess it depends on how you're looking at it, but if you're looking at it like this, it's going to be the second from your left. But if you're looking at it like this, it's, you know, obviously different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my my right eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to start from the uh, inner eyelid and work my way to the end. So I'm going to get my whole eyelid covered. Okay, I'm going to do my other side. See what I mean? I have to hold my eye because I can't close it. I don't know why. Okay, so as you can tell, there's no major difference, but you're going to see the progress. So then, we're going to layer it up a little so that it could be a little bit more dramatic. And you could start seeing some obvious colors in your eye. And if you see that you went over a little bit too much, then you can just usually, what I do is I take my pinky or like a little wipe or something, and I just you know, clean it off so I could not have to start all over again. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're going to use this color here, which is like a light tan color. And we're going to use that color for the middle. Let's put it in our brush. And then we're going to use the color and put it in our middle. Start blending the colors. So you see it's like right in the middle of my eye. And we're going to work our way towards the end. So you can see that it's brighter in the inner, brighter in the inner and starting to get darker. But it's not a drastic smoky eye. Okay, so we were using this color. It's right under the light one. This one right here. So I'm going to do it again for the other eye. So we're going to do the middle. So here we go. Bring it in a little bit and then bring it towards the out. I don't know about you guys, but every time I make videos, I get a ruddy nose. I don't know what it is. So that's how it's going to start looking. That doesn't go there. So, you see it's... Like, you could tell there's some color, but it's still a little neutral, like, not drastic, like a dark, smoky eye. But we're going to do a little darker. So we're going to grab, it's not like a super dark, it's almost in the same range. We're going to go to the opposite, so we did this one. We're going to go all the way to this one. It's like a uh, brownish, but it's still kind of, like, neutral. And we're going to work this one. And do it on our edge. And we're going to start doing like a V. I don't know if you could tell. Put your shadow on. And then work a V. And you're going to bring it almost. Like it's just your crease right here. Bring it almost all the way to the middle. But not all the way. Because then for me like I have small um, eyes. Like, some people have big creases, and I don't. So we're going to do that on that eye. Let's do the other side. So you guys can see. We're bringing it up a little bit. I don't know if you could tell. Okay, and so then I'm gonna get a angled brush, and um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the light color that I used, and just refill the inner corner just to bring that pop back. Cause sometimes you could lose the brightness in there. Like this side, I kind of lost it, but I'm gonna put it back in there so that you can tell the difference. Okay. So some people use their finger and they look good. So I, what I like to do is I like to grab the light color and bring it like in your inner right here. You can tell? See, the difference is I don't have it. I have it here and I don't have it here. So I'm going to add it over here. It's like a highlight that it gives your eye and make it look more, a little bit more interesting. Okay, um, so we're going to grab, with our angle brush again, we're going to use this color that we used. This is the middle color. Th this is the outer edge so we're gonna use that one same with our angle brush and we're gonna bring this color that's over here and bring it a little in so 
so it could bring some color to the bottom of your eye. It's nothing super major. One minute. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So that's how it's looking so far. It's, like I said, it's a neutral eye. It's not going to be looking like, bam, smoky eye. <laughs> okay, and so let's take the light color that we used and we could bring it up here to highlight a little. It's nothing major highlight, but it gives it a little color. Okay, and then to finish it off, we are going to use some eyeliner, but it's not going to be nothing super drastic. Um, I'm going to use my e.l.f. cream eyeliner. It comes with a little brush, and I kind of I like it because it's small. It's not super long, so if you're like looking in the mirror. I'm going to attempt to do this because I usually get really close to mirror and I'm not even using a mirror. I'm using my phone. <laughs> so, I'm going to need a mirror. <laughs> I am like, I have to have my mirror. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close our eye and place a thin eyeliner on our eye. Nothing super like dark because it's trying to, you're trying to do a neutral eye. So you want to still have a little eyeliner but nothing like winged out or nothing like that. Just neutral everyday work wear. So pack it on. You know, put it on your brush. Let's do this one. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah. And I like to. They say they're for people with little eyes. You shouldn't put like a lower one, but I love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit. because it makes my eye pop out a little bit more like you could choose to leave it like this or you could choose to do this way that's how this one looks I don't know if I cover my the light a little bit that's how they look I like I like it with the bottom so I'm gonna do it again on this side I'm not doing my my waterline, it's right below it, but you could do your waterline. Some people do. I could do it for you, just so you can see. So that's how the eye is supposed to look. And then, I don't, I have some fake eyelash, eyelashes, but I haven't worn them yet. So I'm going to take my favorite mascara, and I'm going to put that on my eyes. The falsies. I love this mascara. And, you know, it's angled like that. So, yeah. So, that's how it looks.